Hello, I'm summer ready with my $3 Dollar Tree hat. Well, I got a haul for you. Oh, this $3 Dollar Tree hat. It's like a woven hat. Very nice thick brim to come like completely shade your face and your eyes. And it has the white trim. And it has a bow on the back. I guess you could wear it on the side if you like or however you'd like it. And they had it in black as well. See? $3. It's very nicely made. It has the like the rim in the in the inside, like you know, to catch uh, you know, no sweat goes in your eyes or anything like that. And to keep the shape. Now this one, okay, this one, black one, is for my sister. I went back and got her one. And this one, I actually, um, it blew off because it is very lightweight. So you see there's like holes and stuff. I'm thinking we have to like wear bobby pins in it um, at this time of year where it's sunny, but it's still very breezy. In the summer, of course, when there's no breeze, <laughs> it'll work just fine. Um, but I was thinking um, to put slide bobby pins in it uh, to hold on to the hat because it's very, very lightweight. Um, I guess if you wanted to, you, you could like, you know, squish it up and put it in your bag. Um, or, you know, like I said, just by the pool. Or Now this one, because the brim is, is so wide, like it, it should be to protect it from the sun. Um, oh, and then because of the holes, you do have aeration. Because I don't like wearing hats that much because um, I get too hot under my head. Um, of course, you're, you shouldn't op wear open either because it, the whole point is for, <laughs> for this to sh um, protect you from the sun, from the, uh, the head part to be covered. But um, this has holes, and so there's some aeration. And, yeah, it folds down so you can like, put it in your bag. Um, yeah, $3. I thought that was a bargain. Like, it's very, very well made. It's, like, finished on the edges. You see the... Yeah, it's nice. Um, it is comfortable. It's not like itchy or anything like that. Now I have a lot of hair, so it goes nowhere near my scalp. But <laughs> um, and speaking of bags, sorry, gotta reach here. They do have. Let me empty it. Okay, they do have summer um for three dollars they have these big bags big huge and they have the holes also so that if you go to the beach it's a good beach bag um and uh because you know all the sand can just pour out and you don't take it home with you <laughs> and this handle is so comfortable i don't know you see here how it has like an extra lip right there that makes it comfortable to grip it and they had pretty colors, this green and uh, I want to say an orange color and maybe white. Um, yeah. And like I said, this is a good size. Now, they also have $3 or $5 towels. This is not one of them. But just to show you, like, you can put your towel in there. You can put your hat. Although at the beach, it might blow away if you don't use a. Uh, Right, like you can put your hat in there. You can put, you know, I also got this. This was also a uh, dollar twenty-five. Big tumbler, pretty pretty orange. You can put that in there. I mean, oh, you see, it doesn't even sit all the way to the ground, but <laughs> all the way inside. Um, put that in there. You could just put, you know, your lotions, potions, whatever, and um, your sunblocks and stuff like that. But this bag I thought was really, really good, a good deal. And of course, this hat as well. And let me put that there. Oh, the hat, uh, it actually, I was wearing it in the yard and it blew off and went into the pool, which I was like, oh my goodness, the chlorine, right? Because <laughs> you don't know, maybe it'll bleed it. But, um, but I just took it out of the pool, I rinsed it, and I set it. Um, in the house, not outside, because I don't want spiders to get on it. But um, 
it dried very quickly and it didn't fade or anything. So I thought, oh, that's a good deal. Um, okay, and then I had this bag. So this is a $3 bag and it says flexible tote, uh, clean organized storage, a uh, store, COS. It's 18 inches by eight inches by 13 inches. So it's a good size. Um, and then I had this dollar twenty-five one, which is also good, um, that I got last year, and it's an orange one. You see the size comparison, though. <laughs> so this one doesn't fit very much, like your towel or whatever, but um, this one definitely will. Um, and then also this handle, as I used it, I mean it's fine because I don't hold it like this, but I would hold it, you know, on my arm like this. And it actually would dig into my arm pretty well, like cutting into my arm. So um, this, you may or may not be able to do it that way, but it's a good, it's a comfortable handle. And this is comfortable to hold this way. It just depends on the size you want. Um, I haven't seen these this year um, yet, but um, these are definitely there. And this one is a little, it's flexible, but it's hard flexy. And this is like a very soft flexy. So yeah, that's see the size difference on these two and see how much bigger the, yeah. So yeah, so just to compare, compare. and then, um, so I was very happy with that one and it's cute. And for the RV, uh, we got this one. This was a, I want to say. Oh, here it is. This was $5 and it's called a tall basket and it's hard plastic and it has handles and we wanted to get it for, um, for, uh, oh, it has a lot, it collects a lot of hair on it. <laughs> a lot of cat hair. Um, it, it was, um, we wanted it as a, cause it's a structured basket, not a flexi one like the other ones. And so we wanted it as a dirty clothes hamper um, in the trailer and then, um, you know, in the motorhome. So, yeah. So if you have a small space and you need, you know, and then, uh, you know, when, you, when it's full, you, that's like, you know, a, lo a load of laundry. You could just grab it by here, go to the laundry mat or go to, you know, your laundry room or whatever. But that's what we wanted. Something that holds its shape so we don't, you know, doesn't slump over every time we put clothes in it. It's, it's a pretty good size. Um, but for clothes, I mean, I don't know, Christopher's pretty tall, just a pair of pants might fill it up. <laughs> but we're willing to, to try <laughs> to see what we can do. And in an RV, of course, um, since the RV jostles around so much, like an earthquake, um, anything this will be good for like putting it under the dining table and just you know putting stuff in there so that you know it's not loose you know like things i might when you're camping that you might have out you might want to just organize it in here but we're going to try it oh and it has handles on the side too i just noticed so it has these handles to carry it this way and then it has these handles to carry it that way i'm knocking things over okay um we were headed to the beach when we stopped um, and bought in, in at Dollar Tree. Because like I said, I, I like to go to Dollar Trees in all kinds of different areas. Okay. And my honey had never, he had never used a boomerang before. So he didn't know like how, I mean, he knows how it works intellectually. But he never played with one before. And so I said, oh, I saw I, I saw boomerangs at, at um Dollar Tree, so we'll just grab some and, you know, you toss them around the beach or whatever. And so there were these boomerangs, and it was like the three of them. Don't even bother with these, because they were so lightweight. <laughs> and we were actually um, in a parking lot at Lowe's, because we didn't go, we went to the beach, but we didn't go on the sand. And it was way too windy anyway, but because boomerangs usually have, like the wooden ones have weight to them, and so these we um it was a pack of three this is the one we left on there and um the other one was a traditional you know like v-shaped type of uh boomerang and i forgot what the third one was but um anyway we 
tossing about and all we were doing is running and chasing after it like because it would just it would because it's so lightweight it would try to start to come back and then it would just drop so um yeah i would not waste your money on that i mean it'll tire your kids out if you have kids and they just throw it and then they have to run and, and get it and pick it up and run back and then throw it again yeah that'll make, <laughs> that'll make them tired anyways um this is a tumbler it doesn't say okay it just says doesn't not to use it it's a green briar product uh product i think mm, i don't know it doesn't say okay but anyway isn't this pretty you know how popular these are and this is a pretty tall one um this is my tall mason jar and it gets taller that's co good coffee hold on mm. That's good. Okay. So I got this. They had this color. They had like a, a blue. That blue one was pretty too. It was like a mermaid type of thing. Um, and they had, um, you know, because it has like a little iridescence to it and multicolors. Um, yeah. So that was $1.25 for that. Okay. Um, for $1.25, they also had uh these heads plus head cleaning wipes and it's 160 of them and they're sealed see and there the edge is sealed yeah i can't smell them but they're there's no foil in there but this part is sealed around the top so you can't lift the top up i guess you're gonna have to remove this part to feed the thing through because you can't reach them that way <laughs> anyway they're um let's see safe for cleansing pets face and ears for gently cleansing your pet skin from everyday dirt and odor so uh gentle formula so i got these for better these are for you for your puppy for every time she comes back into the house you can wipe it down um I got those for you. We our son doesn't go out, so he's an indoor only cat, so he does not go out. So I don't need that for him. Okay, and I don't think I I shared this yet. I'm trying. I'm I'm already confused what what I covered and what I didn't cover. Anyway, this is some tea tree oil foot spray, and it's enriched with natural essential oils and plant extracts. It refreshes and deodorizes. Does has all this no stuff. Vegan formula, cruelty free, gluten free, no artificial colors, no sulfates, no parabens. Okay. And it's basically it comforts, revives, cools, comforts, revives, cools. Cruelty free, um, prime value for your family. Mm -hmm. It has tea tree, leaf oil, mint, peppermint oil, aloe vera, chamomile, orange peel, and some other stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is to, uh, this natural herbal care is specially formulated with a refreshing, deodorizing, and neutral, uh, sorry, I'm very aware all of a sudden that you guys might be watching this. <laughs> I'm getting shy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, properties of Australian tea tree oil combined with m wild mint and aloe vera to cool, comfort, and revive tired feet. So not just for stinky feet, it's for tired feet. They're kind of refreshing them. Maybe in those summer days after you've been outside or at the beach and you just want to freshen it up a little. Okay. This Sure Fresh has this Lazy Susan. And uh, it was $1.25. And these work really well. Um, if you see, you, you know, turn them around. I use them in my bathroom where with all my hair products and deodorants and vitamins and whatever, um, tea tree oil, whatever uh, we use. And because before we got this, or one like it, 
um, we would reach over things and knock things over and do all that kind of stuff. So now we just turn it. And um, I know a lot of people use them. Well, some people use them in, um, in their uh, cabinets for their seasonings and stuff. You know, you can have all your condiments here. You can use it. Um, now that summer's coming up, you can get it and use it at the table with, you know, the ketchup and the, I mean, all the condiments, mustard, relish, ketchup, uh, whatever else hot sauce whatever you have in there and store it in the refrigerator this way so you instead of you know pulling out you know three things at a time and balancing them and going to the put them out you could just pull out the whole tray and put it on the table and then people can just turn it and reach what they want so these are really come in handy for so many many things um i guess for makeup too if you want you can put a jar in the center um with your brushes and then put your makeup all around and then you know just do that okay and speaking of makeup i got these two-piece cosmetic cases okay from sassy sass sassy and chic <laughs> all of a sudden i can't speak okay from sassy and chic i can't open that so let me grab some scissors Okay. From Sassy. Ah, sassy. Sassy and chic. Oh, I can't speak. Let's not go that. Oops. It didn't want to go in the recycling. And it's just, it's got a little like lever lock thing here that snaps out and it opens. It's that one and this one. Now, as I'm trying to teach myself to sew, this is good for me, too, for little, like, um, needle sets, like, you know, uh, needle packages and all that, so I don't end up grabbing somewhere and sticking myself or something like that. So I could just put a label right here that it's, you know, sewing needles and um, safety pins or anything like that but you can use them for basically anything i know maybe for your car like an emergency kit especially if you have kids you know you can put um you know it's not too thick it's not too thin so it'll slide in your glove compartment or your center console and you can put like you know band-aids and maybe those little packets of tylenol or anything like that um little kits so I thought those were cool. And it's a two pack for $1.25. Um, one of the things they had was this. And I like burning essential oils. You know, you put a little tea light here and you burn the essential oils. And this, they made it look like wood, but it's not. It's ceramic. So, yeah, I thought that was really pretty. That, you know, natural wood uh, look is in right now. Um, okay. And I had shown you these before, the socks, the Mandalorian socks with Baby Yoda, Grogu. And I gave them away at Easter, and, um, and then my husband, <laughs> we were at Dollar Tree, and he, he saw them, and he grabbed the pair. I didn't realize he wanted them, so <laughs> he better tell me, he better claim the stuff too, because, uh, you know, I'll be giving it away hot quick, so. Okay, these push lights were out of um, stock for a long time. Um, they are, they have, I've used them in the, in the motorhome and they have a sticky tape and they stick very well. So you've just peeled this off and you stick it on wherever you're going to put it. It also has a, like a little, um, spacing there so you can grab the handle so you can hang it or you can set it on the table like this, you know, for the light and it's a push light. You do have to put batteries in it. That's why it's not going on. Yeah, see. And it's pretty bright. And one of the, if you're a DIYer or if you're trying to put a light um, where uh, whether you have no electricity or something like that, um, what some DIYers do is that they'll get these lights and they'll put it inside, they'll stick it inside of a sconce. 
and they'll just like push I, I in the in the motorhome i have these like on the wall stuck on the wall so when we walk into a room you know they have like um like these dome things that you have to reach halfway across the bed to turn them on <laughs> and i'm just my legs are not that long my torso is not that long and my arms are not that long so i put them on the wall so that when i as soon as i walk into a room i uh, into the uh room in the in the motorhome i could just click it and have immediate light and then I can kneel onto the bed and reach the, <laughs> the light that um that the motorhome has but anyway so this is good for a closet it's good for um you know like a, a linen closet or a hall closet or under you can even if you wanted to um put it under the uh a cabinet in your kitchen um yeah for dollar 25 that's a good deal Okay, um, since gardening, it's, it is gardening time. Uh, I purchased these cups. They're good for the kitchen too, but um, it's a whole set of, uh, you know, dry measure and wet liquid and liquid um, spoons and stuff. So there's spoons and cups, a whole complete set. Uh, measuring cups and spoons, eight piece dishwasher safe. And um, I got the plastic ones because in my kitchen, I use metal ones. So I got these plastic ones so that I know that these are for use outside. So I don't mix them up. <laughs> um, you know, but when you measure uh, fertilizer or anything like that, um, like I, I have uh, wor worm case uh, castings and, um, uh, or casings, no, yeah, worm casings and, um, uh, like liquid um, fertilizer to add to a gallon of milk that kind I mean to a gallon of water that kind of stuff um, I rather know that all this is for outdoor stuff so I don't mix my food after using those things okay dollar 25 complete set if you're just starting out there's nothing wrong with using these inside um, also you can use them for your laundry room you know for when if like I make my own soaps and things like that um, my own polish, which you should go and see that video if you haven't already. Um, my multi-purpose cleaner. This is a good way of measuring stuff. And it's not like your food will not um, go in here after you use them. Okay. And like I said, I got multiple of those lights. I got multiple lights. And this was a, a purchase on the way out. But I liked it because it was like a beachy, like a beachy um, little hand what do you call that? Like a uh, wristlet purse, I guess it's a wristlet. Yeah. So I just like the color. They have like the faux um, leather on there. And it's just a, a little quick purse. That was cute. Dollar twenty-five. I also got um. So if you haven't gone and see, if you haven't checked out the uh, breakfast cookie, um video that I posted on how to make breakfast cookies. Um, I bought these par parchment papers. They're a hundred per sheets and um, it says suitable for all food items, non-stick and easy to clean, pre-cut, convenient and efficient. So they're five and a half by five and a half inches. And they're just the ones to separate the foods. So like they use it for chocolate chip cookies here so that they don't stick together. And that's what I use them for because I, <laughs> if you see that video, you see that I, I actually had to make three batches of it, of cookies. So there's like 25, 24 breakfast cookies and they're pretty, you know, substantial. Um, and so I, to store them in the freezer, I put a sheet between each one so that they didn't just freeze together and I'd have to defrost them all at the same time. Um, okay, so that's what I got these. There's a hundred sheets, a dollar twenty-five. It's the Shore Fresh brand, and um, you can, you know, with summer season coming around, you can use them for if you make your own hamburger patties, which I do sometimes. Um, you can use them to separate them. I mean, when you buy ready-made hamburger patties, they usually have these parchment papers separating them so that they don't stick together. So this is a good thing to have, because then you, otherwise you'd be cutting a lot. <laughs> Okay, um, in their crafting section, they have these macrame bracelet kits that I just thought would be cute to try to attempt to make. For summer, these, these types of bracelets are, are in, um, 
and a lot and i guess there's instructions in there and there's everything you need like the beads and how to how to weave them and all that so okay um we were head like i said we were headed to the beach and it occurred to us that we didn't have a towel in the car to knock off um uh any um sand that got on our feet like if we rolled up our pants and took a walk on the beach so we bought these cleaning towels there's two um no is this two or one yeah there, it's a two pack and they're traps and removes dust and dirt so it's like a microfiber cloth it's by scrub buddies and it's 13 and three quarters by 13 and three quarters so it's a pretty good like micro cloth so we can use this just here in the house to you know um for anything stuff we need to do on the on the on the motorhome or stuff we need to uh, on the trailer and stuff or stuff we need to do you know um on the on the cars or um to dust i mean it doesn't matter okay um i also got and that was a dollar 25 a dollar 25 each on these are surf bouncer skitters and the idea behind these is um so that you use them like you would stones like when you skip stones like that across the water um in a lake or something like that uh and we thought it would be cool um when it gets warmer and the kids come over uh to go swimming we can do some kind of contest when you guys come over um to see i guess who who's can skip for this before it you know goes down to the sinks or whatever but we got those just as a game a competitive game and right now they have in the mother's day section they have mother's day section so they have like fourth of july out already um but fourth of july or memorial day since memorial day is first and they have um those decorations out they have a lot of summer stuff coming out they have introducing the three and five dollars um stuff coming out they also have um like cinco de mayo stuff coming out um and mother's day so in the mother's day section they have quite a few uh, quite a bit of stuff that's why i found this one in the mother's day section not with the regular cups and um glasses and cups and uh dinnerware and all that it was with the mother's day section and then also i have this jade i hadn't seen this before it's a gua sha comb it's a jade scalp gua sha comb now the young girl combing her hair right here yeah i don't see that happening with this <laughs> with this hair but it's supposed to be for your scalp too so i guess it's a way to massage your scalp with the jade it says that the benefits massage your scalp or style your hair wet or dry the benefits are massaging the scalp promotes relaxation and helps improve circulation so if you're trying to grow your hair or if you have dandruff probably um but anyway to help so improve improves circulation detangles hair gently without pulling i don't i don't know if that'll happen in this mess but um aids in product absor absorption and distribution into the scalp and the hair so i guess as a way to distribute but you know you you see the gua sha um stones that you know are for rubbing here and helping circulation in your face well this is a scalp one and i had i hadn't seen a scalp one before so yeah that's by be pure so uh it says to clean after every use okay um oh you've seen this before but i replaced it because i gave it away and then i was like no but i want one so i went back and got one okay uh also you've seen this before it's that um the uh, solar spotlight and i told you i wanted some more for the planters i wanted two more for the planters i two other planters that i have because i do like the glow that it gives over by the pole so um yep so i got two for those planters and two for backup because <laughs> these were very hard to find so i got excited when i saw them and i just said give me two give me four okay also for the rv um there's like a garage uh type of like under uh underbelly storage and um 
we needed some smaller hold on. these were three dollars and we needed these smaller contain well it's a good size container it's um 14 quart container and it was three dollars and this is a good size and you can see what's in it so when you put you know stuff away you can see it um and that's good for a motor home because you're like you, you know you look in that little garage area which is basically like a a, a square tube <laughs> and it's good if you can see i mean we should probably label it too but it's good if you can see what's what, what whatever you're looking for and you can pull out other stuff all at once and then get to the what you need um rather than having to, again same thing with same mentality with the um with the lazy susan you know where it's easier to just pull it all out at once, put it on the table, put it back like that. Same thing with this, you know, because it's pull out 20 things and have everything all spread out just to get that one centronella candle you need or something. It's just a mess. But, um, and my honey likes these because uh, the lid goes on and it snaps. So there you go. So it stays on there. It doesn't come off. So that's that's what he um he likes those kind of handles where they have the things that snap on there okay move some of this okay okay this is kind of fun um in the Cinco de Mayo part for $1.25 I got a two pack of these taco stands because then you could just put it and then, you know, because my tacos, I try to stand them up on the plate and they fall over and the meat rolls out and it's a blister. Remember that, Dennis? A blister? Okay. So uh, they had the really cute, like a salsa bowl or like a dip bowl. And it was shaped like a red chili. It was very deep. So you could put quite a bit in there, guacamole or something. And it was just really cute, but I, 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 I didn't allow myself to get it because I really don't need it. But these, I got, it's a two pack, which is perfect for my honey and me. And yep. And so they had really cute stuff like that. Okay. In the Mother's Day, um, in the Mother's, yeah, the Mother's Day section, they also had these ceramic jars. And if you see my, if you saw the estate sale, um, video that I posted. Um, I got a, uh, it was a ginger, um, a Chinese ginger, like storage container, ceramic or clay. And these, it was like the blue designs too. And they had these two, which I thought were really pretty. And these, I won't take it off because I might give them as a gift, but these, um, you know, have the lids and you take off the lids and you, it could be for your jewelry at night, your trinkets, things like that. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was real, real pretty. Okay, see that? Design. So these are, these I got last week. Um, so I might be posting this, what's today? Today is Wednesday. I might post it by Friday. Friday. No, you know, I'll post this before this date sale one. That way you can go look for them now before they run out. But they're very pretty. They could be part of a basket, part of the, the gift. I mean, look at these. Like, you can make a gift out of those things. Okay. Oh, so outside, <laughs> it's kind of dark. Now, we have cameras all around the property, but outside, it's kind of dark in, under one of my trees. And so um, for $5, we got this solar sensor led light it's a motion activated one so hopefully when we walk through there if we put it on the shed when we walk through there it'll light up or when chris uh when my honey goes to the shed it says it's durable and wa weatherproof wireless operation motion activated pill and stick mounting now it does have a a, a hole here for a, if you wanted to screw it in so it's more secure but since we're putting on a, a rubber mate shed i just i'll try the pill and stick first and then I have that nano tape that I got from Dollar Tree that I can use if if this sticky is not big um, enough okay and 
I don't know how, oh, it says it's 120 lumens. So it's not too terribly bright, but anything will help. And it's these kind of like LED lights. See? Yeah. And so um, any light out there will help. <laughs> and for $1.25, uh, so that was $5, that, that motion sensor light. It, they had these um, decoy security doorbells. They're made to look like the ring, but they're decoys. They're just pillin sticks, and um, you put batteries in it. So I guess so it can light up when they push on the on the uh, the doorbell button. The red will light up just like the ring does when it's being uh, recorded so they might think it's being recorded <laughs> um it's adhesive included it's just a pill and stick it says um constant flashing red light that shows that it's always on oh i guess it's constant um doorbell lights up and makes a sound when pushed so i have to put batteries in it to to hear it but easy to install no wiring needed so if you have you know if you want to put up a, a, a fake <laughs> doorbell, they'll think they're being recorded. There you go. Now they'll be ringing and ringing and you'll never answer because you're not going to hear it. But <laughs> Okay. And then when you see a package like this at Dollar Tree, it's usually a brand name. And again, I've shown you um, these kinds of uh, polishes before that I've gotten at Dollar Tree because I do buy them at Target as well and in um, Sally Beauty Supply. Um, no. A target and uh, this is a plant-based good kind pure um, they're pure um, Sally Hansen's pure line and that it's pure because it has less toxins in it like no formaldehyde and all those things so um, yeah and this one this colors color 380 um, fantastic oops I can't make it. Oh, there it goes. Suntastic. And it's like a pretty, like a pale yellow. But I use these, um, these polishes because, uh, you know, they have less toxins in them. So usually with these polishes, though, you need three. Look at, I did a sloppy job there. But you usually need three uh, coats. Three top coats, and I don't usually put a top coat, but yeah. Okay, so when you see these packages, usually there's brand names in there. So eyeliner, um, lipsticks.